And that question is a good question. Why don't I connect to God even though I want to? Or I might just put in here, even though I think I want to. Now, the reason why is because a lot of the times existing within our soul is an emotion which is the opposite of what we would like it to be. So, so for example, we may have an emotion, I really want God, might be the feeling, or let's call it a thought at this point. So the thought would be, I want God. But the feeling that I might have at exactly the same time might be, if I have God, God will control me. Now I might have that thought and that feeling at exactly the same time. Right? Now, if I have that thought and that feeling at exactly the same time, what is the dominant prayer? What's the prayer to God? Can you see it's the second one? I'm really saying to God, I'm scared of you controlling me. Now, of course, if God loves us, he's never going to control us. But we're scared of it. There's an emotion inside of us that causes us to fear it. Now, a lot of times it's the emotion that's caused through us being connected with Christianity in the past or some other feeling that we have where we think we have to abdicate our own will in order to do God's will and all of those kind of teachings, which are all erroneous, but cause us to have an emotion like this. If we can just get the mic to you, she's just behind you. Um, yeah, I think I have that emotion about men. Okay, so you're going to have a masculine a projection where God's your father, this sort of feeling, and yeah, he's going to want to control me. If I, if I love God and receive God's love, then God wants me to do what God wants rather than I'm not allowed to do what I want anymore. And if I'm not allowed to do what I want anymore, do I really want God? Sort of like, now I've got the hand up going, no, I don't know if I really want God. So this is why we often don't connect to God, because the real emotion is very different to the thought. To actually connect with God, we need to have the real emotion. We need to feel the real emotion. So we're better off yelling and screaming at God, telling God how much we don't want him because he's going to control us, then we are going, oh, please give me some of your love, while at the same time feeling that God's going to control us. Um, Mary and I were just talking the other day about Forrest Gump again. You know the movie Forrest Gump where Dan, you know, the Lieutenant Dan, was on the top of the mast with his legs missing, screaming and yelling at God to bring on his worst in the middle of a hurricane, uh, to bring on his worst, um, because of, and letting go of all that rage. And I thought the movie was good in the way that it illustrated Lieutenant Dan after that point. Because there was a calmness and a peacefulness and, a, and a, f a feeling of acceptance and a lot of other things that obviously came to him through that experience. And while that's a fictitious experience, the reality is that the same thing happens to us many times. If we, if we really say the real emotion and really feel the real emotion with passion, we often release it very rapidly and then it's gone for good. But the problem most of us face is we're so much in the facade that we don't want to release the real emotion because we don't want to even admit that we have it. And instead we want to have a different emotion that we believe is the good one, the good girl's emotion or the good boy's emotion, and we try to feel that instead. Now with God, you can't do that. You can't falsify emotions with God because God can feel everything and therefore feel exactly what you feel. So if God's feeling that from you and hearing that from your mouth... Which one is God going to respond to? The second one. The second one. Yeah. And if we be the second one and feel the second one, if we feel that God will control me and we really feel our fear about God controlling us and so forth, and we really express it to God, now we have a chance to heal it. Yeah. And that's the secret to connection. If we're not connecting with God, it's because there's something wrong with how we're falsifying how we feel with God. That's the reason why. Yep. Thank you.